Hey, this is Mel with We Can Code It. I am going to walk you through your first code eval challenge, and this one is called Odd Numbers. So if you don't know how to use or log into code eval, go ahead. We have a video on that. Please review that. What I'd like you to do is in code eval, go to Challenges, and you'll come to this screen. You'll see Easy Level. I'm going to hit Control F in my browser. That will bring up a, a Find functionality. And I'm going to type in Odd for Odd Numbers. So it just pulls me down there to that one. I've already solved this one, but I'm going to share it again with you so I can show you how to solve it, okay? Go ahead and click on the Odd Numbers link, and you will see the page with the challenge description in it. And it's basically it's telling you what to do. Print the odd numbers from 1 to 99. They don't provide any input for this program because, you know, you're just printing out some odd numbers. And um, they just want one number per line. It's saying here in the output sample. So in order to mock this up, I'm going to go into Visual Studio. And let's go ahead. I'll create a new project. I'll make it a console app. And I'll just call it odd nums. That's fine. And the workspace will be available to you at this point. I want you inside the main method right here. Find that. That's your entryway to programs. That's the front door to your program. We're going to, first of all, write a comment. So a single line comment is two forward slashes. And I'm going to say print out odd nums from 1 through 99. I'll put inclusive, so including 99. Okay, just so that we're crystal clear. There are a couple of ways to do this. Um, either way, we're going to use a for loop. Okay, so if you remember, for loops look like this. You start with your for loop, you have parentheses, and then you have curly braces for whatever is going to be done inside this loop. Parentheses include um, how we start out, what the conditions are for it to continue going, and um, what to do after each for loop. One way to do this challenge is to simply start at 1. Oops. Make your condition less than or equal to 99. And then instead of adding 1, add 2 after each loop. It's a very simple way to do this. So let's start here. Start at 1. So let's make a counter. I'll even call it counter. It is of type int, integer. Int counter. Let's just declare it. Now, in our for loop, we can assign it. Counter equals 1. Great. Counter is less than or equal to 99. Counter plus equals 2. Okay, so basically what we're saying is start at 1, keep going as long as the number is less than or equal, the number being counter, is less than or equal to 99, and every iteration, every time it goes through this loop, add 2 to it. Think about why this would work. 1 plus 2 is 3, plus 2 is 5. You'll get all the odd numbers here. So all we have to do is print out that number. To print it out, it's going to be system, system's the namespace, console, we're writing to the console, and we're going to write a line. Why write line? Because it asks us to put one per line. What am I going to write? Well, the counter. The counter itself. Okay. I'm going to put a breakpoint right here at the end of the body for the main method, right here. So I'm going to go over to this light gray area and left click right by that closing curly brace for the main method. 
and that'll that'll just pause execution so I can see the program run. That's all I'm doing. Go ahead and click start so we can debug this. And I'm going to go find the program. And here it is. And it looks like it ran perfectly. Beautiful. Okay. So that's one solution. What's another solution? There are many ways to do the same thing. I could have also done this. We could have used mod. So I can still use my counter. I'm going to still use a loop. This is just not quite as elegant. For counter equals 1, counter is less than or equal to 99, same things. But let's say we just want to add 1 at each iteration. Counter plus plus, and here's our body of our for statement. We could say if counter mod 2 equals zero, if there's no remainder after dividing by zero, then that means it's even, and if there is, it means it's odd. So let's actually do if counter mod 2 equals 1, because that means it's odd, right? Then you could go system console right line. Counter. It will produce the same results. Huh, which one do you think is a better implementation? I'd say it's this one, the first one. Why? It's simpler. We're not, we completely eliminated this mod operator and we're doing it straight in the for loop. So I just wanted to show you there is more than one way to solve a problem, but in this case, this is the simpler method. So I'm going to go ahead and highlight here from um, whatever is inside my main. I'm not going to worry about the comments. I'm going to control C to copy it. Now I'm going to head back over to Codyville. Oh, let me close this. And I'm going to click Submit Solution. When you click Submit Solution, you'll see your online editor down here. I'll scroll down. Make sure you're in C Sharp because that's the language we're programming in right now. The first line is a comment. It will, it's a multi-line comment. It's very hard to read. Just know this is a slash star and then it has some text. Delete this whole first line in the Codyville editor. Just delete it. Once you delete that, you'll see the closing comment down here. Star slash closes a multi-line comment. Delete that. now. Because it's not taking any input, we don't need any of this. Get rid of everything for this example inside of main. Okay, so it looks like this. Class program, static void main, string args, and then open curly brace, close curly brace. Right in between there, right in between there, control V will paste your code right into the main method here. It looks good to me. When you're ready, go ahead and click Submit. You will see this um, solution submitted successfully. You can now view your score. Score is a link. Go ahead and click on it. I have solved it twice. If you also have this <laughs> issue, you can go ahead and feel free to um, delete um, any one of them. It doesn't matter. You can keep them both there. All right. I hope you enjoyed this quick entry tutorial into Cody Valve. Thanks.